Children who learn how to recognize, talk about, and manage their feelings feel safe and valued and develop the confidence to solve their own problems. They often do better in school and have stronger friendships. Helping children to understand feelings shapes how they treat others and deal with challenges. Essential life skills as they grow into teens and adults. Hello, my name is Lori Zerl, Pierce County Human Development and Relationship Educator with the University of Wisconsin-Madison Division of Extension. Hi, and I'm Javen Hins, a licensed social worker in Pierce County, Wisconsin. Um, and a parent of what? A parent of two, ages 12 and four. We know all families face challenges, but every family also has strengths to draw upon during difficult times. When we as parents understand how to build our family's strengths in five essential areas, we can feel more confident, less stressed, and better connected to our children. The five strengths are helping kids understand feelings, parenting as children grow, connecting with others, building inner strength, and knowing how to find help. Today, we're gonna to focus on helping kids understand feelings. Helping kids understand feelings involves showing them how to understand and name emotions, manage their emotions and behavior, communicate, problem solve, and get along with others. That's a lot to do. Luckily, parents and kids have a whole childhood to work on it. One strategy that kids and parents can use to manage their feelings and behavior is their breathing. We're all born with this very important stress reducing tool. When we breathe slowly and deeply from the belly, we lower our blood pressure, reduce feelings of stress, anxiety, and anger, and we increase our feelings of calm. I'm gonna help show us a few ways that children can learn to calm themselves using their breath. One way is by bubble breathing, using bubbles. Um, what you'll have your kids do is, is first tell them to do this in a, or do this with them in a really calm space um, when they're feeling regulated and, and really good. Um, they'll breathe in real deep and then exhale and blow the bubble. So, oops, I popped it. I wasn't regulating my breath well enough. And then as you teach your kids how to do that, you can learn to, or they can learn to do it without the bubbles and just do the same practice, um, just without the bubbles. Breathe it all in and out. Something else that I've done in teaching kids and working with my own children is using our diffuser at home where it's got the little steam that comes up and I've taught my kids to blow to a bend, but not by breaks and it can come back. Another strategy is using something like a stuffed animal or, or a rock or another object for kids or anyone to lay down and they can put it on their belly and watch it rise and fall. And then even they're using their hands as another, another option too. It's amazing how our bodies have built-in mechanisms to help us manage stress. Using our breath to create inner calm seems simple, but we experience the greatest benefits through consistent practice. Our children watch us and do what we do. Consequently, they also mirror our stress level and reactions to it. If we practice deep breathing and think before we respond, our children will learn to do the same. When we teach our children to use their breath to refocus, they feel more in control of their emotions and better able to communicate their needs. Ultimately, it leads to better behavior and happier children. If you want to learn more about helping kids understand feelings or any of the other four strengths, go to fiveforfamilies.org. Thanks for listening, and we hope to see you next time for Parenting Behind the Behavior.